Heartland Sports with Jess Todd. Sponsored by Southeast Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Well, after starting the season with two games on the road, the Cape Catfish were finally back at Kapaha Field today. Home opener for the green and yellow. Gates opened at around 5.30, an hour before first pitch, and fans started flooding in right away. Lots of interaction with the crowd this year. If tonight's any indication, cornhole contest before one of the innings. How about flowers out to some of the ladies in the stands and some pictures afterwards. Even a Cotton Eye Joe display. Some dancing on full display from the Catfish. Awesome to see trying out a couple of new things this year. And new president Glenn Campbell, he's done a lot of stuff in the past with businesses, but with day one of the sports world, he said it was a bit of a whirlwind. One of the most stressful times I've had. When I started a business, Lids, years ago, and I haven't felt this kind of stress in 30 years, man. But I'm older, you know, so and maybe wiser, but you know, at the end of the day, you just gotta have fun with it. I'm a perfectionist, so for me, I'm going, come on, this one out, that happened, we don't have enough of this, but people are having a great time, that's what it's all about. To put this thing together, it's a very tedious process, and then troubleshooting on game day when the electric goes out. Um, but it, you know what, it's fun. We love bringing this to the community. It looks like we've got a great baseball team this year, and I just can't wait to see how this all plays out. Well, if tonight is any indication, it'll be good vibes only in front of a packed Kapaha field all summer long for the Catfish. How about to the game? Cape hosting the Jackson Rockabillies for game number one at Kapaha after 2-0 start to the season. And Brody Chrisman picks right up where the two wins left off. And that's Jeff Clark coming around to score RBI for Chrisman. And the Catfish in business. Then it's Clark's turn at the plate. Ropes one out to right. Landon Godsey comes around to score, and that deserves some high fives from Captain Catfish. And then it's the same duo again. Chrisman sends another one out to right field, which scores Clark. The bats got hot early. They did not cool down. Chris Hall back up the middle. He's back in a Catfish uniform after last summer and delivering again. Curry Sutherland scores. Kevin McCarthy right behind him. They put 13 runs on the board in this one. If you're Scott Little, new manager, that's got to be a good sign of things to come. Cape wins their home opener 13 to 1. We also had a couple of Heartland teams playing for third place today. We'll start with Saxony Lutheran girls soccer in the class one third place game against Bishop LeBlanc. Abigail Haley gave the Crusaders a one nothing lead in the first half off a great ball from Anna Muller. And that one got Saxony on the board to break a nil nil tie. And then it was Annie Adams finding Maggie Hillen who lasered a strike past the keeper to put Saxony Lutheran up two to one. And they held on third Third place is Saxony Lutheran in class one this spring. Congratulations to the Crusaders. And how about Jackson baseball in the class six third place game against Nixa in the top of the first after a leadoff triple from Henley Parker. Cooper Rhodes brought Parker around to score one nothing Jackson then to the seventh bases loaded Grant Dotson perfect bunt and Steven Schneider comes in to score some insurance two to nothing and they would need it because in the bottom half Nix has scored one but here's two outs final out and that's Baden Hackworth what a catch along the fence to seal the game two one the final score celebration is on for the Jackson Indians third place in class six in their first ever trip to states. Congratulations to the Jackson Indians.